If Fry was frozen at midnight and remained frozen for exactly 1,000 years, why was he unfrozen in the afternoon instead of at midnight? Assuming the machine used an internal clock and time was not externally measured, the clock would lose time due to a small inaccuracy in our calendar system. Using the Gregorian calendar, which most of the world does, we lose around 27 seconds every year or one day every 3,226 years. Our leap days make the calendar very accurate, but not perfect. Fry was frozen for 1,000 years, losing approximately 27 seconds a year. That's a total of 27,000 seconds or 450 minutes, which is seven and a half hours. Dividing 3,236, the number of years it takes to lose one day by 1,000, the number of years Fry was frozen, gives us the more accurate answer of 7.42 hours, or 7 hours and 25 minutes, meaning he would have unfrozen at 4.35 p.m. in the year 2,999. The exact time Fry unfreezes is never stated, but Leela does say this. Now it's New Year's Eve, so I'd like to decide your fate quickly and get out of here. Assuming she works a normal 9 to 5 schedule, 4.35 would be near the end of her workday. Many don't know about the inconsistency in her calendar, leaving them asking, 